what is popping fly girl and fly guys this is your girl tiara Brian, and welcome back to my channel today i am going to share my top five favorite scary movies you already know we in spooky season right now it is october pretty much the end of october and halloween is literally around the corner really like this weekend and i just wanted to go ahead and share my favorite movies these are not in any type of order but i will say one of these movies scared the fuck out of me as a kid so the first movie we're going to start off with is Insidious. You have Insidious 1, 2, 3, 4, and I do believe they're working on a 5. This movie is essentially heavy, heavy on the paranormal activity, basically. You have a family of five, a husband and a wife with three kids. They move into this new home, and the son ends up getting into a coma. Come to find out, he has this special ability to astro project. He's seeing stuff. It's stuff in his room. The mom is seeing weird and you know paranormal type spirits and demons and stuff all up in the house it gets to a point where they didn't have to bring a lady to come in and seance the sun and see what's going on the sun has this special ability of astral projecting and he has to be saved so the father has to go into this seance and trance to save the son and the father has to do it because when he was younger he was literally his son so he was able to see things and that's just the basis of insidious i do enjoy paranormal type of movies um but yeah so insidious y'all definitely have to check it out if y'all haven't seen the movies go ahead and watch it right now now i'm going to talk about the sixth sense it's been a little minute since i've seen this movie it's been a few years since i've seen this movie essentially it's about a child who can see dead people like literally but he meets a guy and, and this story is heavy on a plot twist so he meets a, a guy that i believe i don't know if he's like a psychiatrist but he's pretty much kind of like a shrink and you know the shrink is this man is basically telling him like okay like what's going on this that and the third and he tells the, the kid like it's okay if you're if you have these abilities just use it to help other people come to find out so this is this is really interesting y'all definitely have to see this but come to find out the plot twist at the end of the movie is that the man who was helping the young boy all along he you know what i'm not even gonna say it go ahead and watch this movie and if y'all know what i'm talking about y'all can go ahead and leave a comment down below so the next movie we have is house of wax this movie is creepy it's cringy it's thriller there's something weird going on here okay so you have a group of young adults um they're headed to this football game but they actually before the football game they go camping and you know they wake up the next day and some weird stuff is happened with their car somebody's headlight got busted and then some um someone's belt like the belt in the car i forgot what you call it but it's messed up and also i believe that night somebody weird had visited them so the next day you know they still plan on going to this football game but they got to get this car fixed so two people venture off they catch a ride from someone and essentially they end up in this town where everything is made of wax right they meet this guy at a gas station he said yo come to my crib i can help y'all and they met this guy in a funeral home where it's nothing but wax people like literally wax people um essentially him and his brother they're serial killers and everybody in that bit is is about to die they gonna die okay <laughs> but I, I believe they end up in the actual like house of wax trying to fight their way through and flames like it's just weird like literally and they're actual human beings like real people inside of the wax so these aren't just wax figures that they created these are actually dead people covered in wax so definitely if you have not seen house of wax this is a really great movie it's cringy it's it leaves you just like yo what in the hell is going on but check it out the next video we're going to talk about is a medieval horror 2005 so you have a family um this movie is based in new york and they move into this mansion like it's a ni not necessarily a mansion but it's, it's a nice home like it's a really nice home and it's an old home i believe that there was a family who lived there before them where the father was possessed to kill his whole entire family and he did so this family they move into this home everything is cool and then a whole lot of weird shit starts happening right but 
the father is basically saying like y'all are crazy this ain't happening y'all like y'all seeing shit and correct me if i'm wrong um so essentially it gets to a point where the father actually gets possessed he goes into the basement and he's reading all these books and it's all it's it's really weird it's, it's very weird heavy on the paranormal and clearly as you can see i'm into the paranormal stuff um but he goes and tries to kill his family but it doesn't end up happening and you can find out the rest by watching the movie but this is a really good film to watch um so definitely check out in medieval horror last but not least let's talk about the haunted 1991 now i was born in 95 and this is the movie that i was talking about that scared the shit out of me okay and if you haven't seen this movie it's a very very old movie and honestly i feel like we either had it on vhs or when i was just younger they used to play it on tv all the time but again this is a another paranormal movie where you have a family and they move into this home that is possessed with spirits i mean it's it's hella crazy shit going on to the point where everything is spinning in the house shit is flying getting thrown everywhere and i, I think they had another family to come in and help just bless the home and just save everything and make the spirits go away or whatever but if you haven't seen this movie it's an old film but it's it's such a great movie and i believe they might even have it on youtube the full movie i think and if they do i'm gonna make sure i put it in my description below but um that movie definitely had me going as a kid and this is gonna be in my my top five favorites this wraps up my top five favorite scary movies slash halloween movies of course you know i have to end this video on a lighter note sharing some of my favorite childhood nostalgias hocus pocus halloween town scream scary movie thank you all for watching and please make sure you subscribe to my channel join the fly girl and the fly guy family and also follow me on my social media handles which will be down below in the description box love you guys and happy halloween